So like I said, give me dingbats to start with, and I'm gonna lull you into a full sense of security, because once we've done dingbats that you're gonna find hilarious and enjoyable, um, then I'm going to kill you with some simultaneous equations. I thank you. Admit. Right, here we go. So this is simply gonna be guessing the maths words. Okay, there we go. So dingbats is, well, essentially it's just, it's a, it's a mathematical word or something that's loosely related to maths. And you have to put the parts of the sort of symbols together to make a word or guess at what the word is. Okay, so have a try. What's the first one there? All right, very good, thank you. Like I said, just trying to keep up the sun. Too hot, as far as I'm concerned. That's all right. All right, so I put those recordings up for you. Did you find that? Go on, good guess. Dice, liquid, and E. Not quite. Uh, uh, well, that's, it needs to spell a single word. Dice, liquid, E. I'm not, but it, actually, well, I looked at a few of these earlier and some have pardoned others. And essentially, if you kind of put the bits of the images together and think, like, what does that sound roughly like? You might be able to get it. Any more guesses on that? So that's a die, isn't it? Die. A, a jar without the J. Not a bad guess. You probably, my funny is to write these down. So you might do like die, D I, and then jar without the J is A R, die R. E, diary, diary. All oh, right, and that on the end there is meant to be a tear, in case you think it's someone with a bit of a small wonky nose. Any more guesses on that one? I'll move on. Um, go on, put that, put that in the chat, would you? Because I think that's a good guess. Put that in the chat. Yeah, I think that might, is that what it is? Diameter, so die, and then the am is the jam without the J, E, and then tear, M and tear, get it? Right, let's try this one. Right, let's have a look at this then. Now, this, as that was fun, this is gonna be uh, as equally fun, if not more fun, than uh, dingbats. And it's simultaneous equations. So put that as your title, please. Today's date is the, what is the date? It's first, isn't it? First of June. Pinch the punch for first of the month. Yeah. So first of the six, uh, 20, which means ridiculously we're almost halfway through the year now, 2020. I think most people are 2020, will just be glad to see the back of it. Um, I want to get through it. And then put your LO, which stands for learning objective. Simultaneous equations. Now we've done um, solving equations where you've got like a, a 4x plus 2 equals 10 and you have to solve it for x. I'm just going to build on that a little bit. And I'm going to show you two equations that you can solve at the same time. And essentially what you're going to try and do is you're going to try and eliminate either the X's or the Y's, or, or whatever letters the uh, two equations are in terms of, okay? So LO, simultaneous equations, 1st of June, 2020. Okay, here we go. Um, let's have it. So can we write those two there into your book then, please? And these are the two things. Now, the, there's quite a few steps with this. Um, and this is a topic that I'm, I'm always gonna show you every single topic that's on the syllabus. It's among the harder topics, so this will, be classed as like a essentially a grade five topic but it's still be, it'd be towards the end of the paper so among the harder ones but still there's a chance you might be able to get some of the marks or even be able to solve it if, if it's a, a, a question you can get your head around so the two equations 6x plus y equals 15 and then 4x plus y equals 11. now you could if you wanted to just rearrange those to be y equals because we've done lots of straight line graphs. So y equals 
15 minus 6x if I move the 6x over. That's just a straight line. And essentially, these two straight lines, they meet at a point. And that point is what we're going to try and find. And we're going to do this. You can do it um, with algebra, or you can do it by on a graph. All right. Now, we'll just go through the steps, each step nice and slowly, one at a time. And then we'll just we'll talk about it as we go, OK? So step one, number the equations. So number one, number two. Now, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get rid of either the x's or the y's. And the way I can do that is I can either add the two equations together or I can take one from the other. Now, my, my eye is drawn to the fact that if you look at this, there's a y in both of these. All right? And because those y's match up, they're the ones that I'm going to try and get rid of. So. I'm just going to go through this nice and steady. Just say if it's too fast or you're not keeping up. I'm, I think that's enough time to be able to write those, those points. Right. We're going to eliminate one of the unknowns. And the unknowns are either your X's or your Y's. Now, for now, I the X's don't match up. So we're going to leave those for the minute. It's the Y's I want to get rid of. And because I've got a Y above and a Y below, essentially, if I do one, take the other. So the top line, the top equation, take away the bottom one. I'll do my x's first of all, so 6x, take away 4x, gives me 2x. Now like I say, you can add or subtract, it's entirely up to you. I've, I've chosen to subtract because I end up with y, take away y, and then that means it's nothing and it disappears, that's why we're doing it. So y, take away y, gives us nothing. So the y's are now gone. And then I'll do 15, take away 11. It's four. OK. Now, you can only really solve these equations when you've got uh, one unknown, as in one letter in it. So to finish that, I can then solve for x. Because two times something is four. That something must be two. OK, so we found the x. Right, okay. Right, step four, we're going to use that x and we're going to shove it back into one or two, doesn't matter, and then we're going to find what y is. Right, because essentially your x and your y is just a set of coordinates and if I was to plot those two straight lines, there'll be a point where they cross, an x value and a y value, a coordinate that would solve both of those at the same time. Right, so they're going to put it back into the first one. So they've just rewritten that first equation then. Now, if I put x as 2 into that first equation, I'll get 6 times 2, which is 12, and then plus y is 15. So 12 plus something is 15. That something must be 3. And that's the solution to those two straight lines. Like I say, if you plot it, at two, three, so along the corridor to two and up to three, that will be the point where they cross.